Hi everybody, so welcome to the January Smart Art Box. So I received this two days ago and I did have a look inside before the time because because I'm doing it live, I need to sort of be prepared for um, what's coming because I know that looking at past Smart Art Boxes, some of them, um, like the marbling one for instance, was one that would, you know, wouldn't be something that I could do live. So I just needed to make sure. Um, but this box is my kind of box. I'm really excited to show you what's inside. <laughs> um, welcome to everybody that's on here. Some of you are new, so I'm glad to see you here. Thank you. Say hello if you're new and you haven't been here before. Everybody's very kind and very welcoming. Um, for those that don't know what a Smart Art Box is, so Smart Art Box is a subscription box. I have the link in the description below this video. And you pay... Um, I think it's fifty dollars and then they send you a box like this it's a pretty it's a big box and you get full supply full sets of supplies in here they don't just send you one or two of something so they they send you decent things um, and then they send it to you in the mail every month and then you get to see what's inside but you won't know what you're getting until you get the box so that's what makes it sort of fun I do feel like um, it's worth what you're getting because if you consider postage already that's a fair bit of money and you're getting full sets of supplies inside so I do think it's worth it and I'm not just saying that because they're sending me the box for free and on that note because they're sending me the box for free I will be giving it away at the end of today's use so the way that works please check the description on how you can um, sort of enter to be able to win this box by the end of the stream when I'm done with it so I will use the supplies, I'll create an artwork from it, and then we'll pick a winner, and then I will send you the box. And I'm doing that for anything that I get for free. Some of you were part of yesterday's video, which was really fun. And um, we used all the Arteza supplies, and we did five giveaways yesterday, which was, was really cool. And the artwork ended up being pretty nice. I really, really liked the artwork at the end of the day, so that was pretty fun. So thank you for tuning in. So many of you are faces that have been on here before and a couple of newbies. So welcome. Okay, let's open the box. Oh, and just uh, if you have any questions, if you could please put it in capital letters because if there's a lot of you that ends up on the chat, then it's easier for me to see. Hey, Chris. <laughs> okay, so the box looks like this. <gasps> oh! Some of you, if you are just looking at this, you know exactly who this artist is. Does anyone know? I'll cover that. Hey Maureen. <laughs> I'm gonna see if anybody knows. If you don't know, you have to know. Like this is an artist that I, her work is so amazing that I still strive to become this good one day. <laughs> so her Instagram is pretty epic and her YouTube channel is really great and her as a personality, she's just a very, very lovely person. Well, that's sort of what comes across in a video. She's very kind. Ah, Esme knows her. I forget her name. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, I'll tell you. So her name is Morgan Davidson. So look up Morgan, da Morgan um, Davidson right now on YouTube. And you will see how epic her work is. It's just amazing. So she drew all of these um, in pencils. It's insane. All of this she did in pencils. And she's got pretty cool videos um, on Instagram and on YouTube. Okay. So this book, this tells you a little bit about her. So that's her right there. Um, project pointers and the tools that we are using in here. And then... It tells, gives you instructions on how to use it. So what's inside, and then we'll go back through the pamphlet. We have a eraser pencil. So a Faber-Castell Perfection eraser pencil with a brush. So if you use the eraser, you can just use this brush to sort of wipe off any of the eraser marks. 
and we have a phonetic blending pencil so it's just pretty much a clear core which you use to blend your colored pencil together and this you use for burnishing so I will try and steer clear of any solvent today and use the blender pencil and the burnishing technique which is a technique I never use because I don't like burnishing but we will use it because that's how we're supposed to use it for this set and then the um, pencil set I have no idea how to pronounce that Brinzeal Brinzeal Expression colored pencil set made in Holland Ooh. Brinzeal okay so we have a set of 12 colors and these are called expression colors oh, may help if I open that have those are really nice colors I like them it's got a nice wooden casing they feel they feel very very light compared to like the polychromos or the Pablo or the luminance pencils they feel very light I hope the core is really strong well, we'll get to try and see how good it is. Okay, so that's the pencils. Then we have a sharpener. A... Color Combi Colored Pencil Sharpener. Made in Germany. Ooh, look at this. Fabriano, I love Fabriano. So... Venice book drawing paper it is 90 pounds which I guess is 200 GSM 15 by 23 centimeters see I like I love it when they put both things there so we got inches and centimeters so we all understand the artwork on the cover reproduces the modern mosaics present in the San Marco area of Venice. Oh. Cool. And it's got a little band there so you can find your spot. Hey Gareth, opening and creating an artwork from it and then doing a giveaway at the end of the day. So the giveaway is going to work the same. Just check the description on how you can enter and at the end of it I will be giving the whole box away with the artwork to one person. So this okay. cool, very nice. So let's put the box away. So I'm sure you can see why it's my kind of box. <laughs> Anything with colored pencils. Honey, no. She's right outside my window and she starts digging in the grass. Okay, so let's put that over there. And oh, let's read about these pencils. So the colored pencils, it's 
a range of adult intermediate pencils designed to be high quality with light sedol casings, liquid wax binder at a very good value. Attractive packaging graphics are also a nod to their Dutch heritage as all Brunzeel's products are made to meet the stringent Dutch quality requirements. Each pencil features a strong extra thick 3.3mm core and double glued bodies for added break resistance and is manufactured from quality pigments for your desired color transfer. Sounds good. These thicker cores and high quality pigments within the layers provide a much higher color transfer than conventional pencils, ensuring bright and vibrant colors, perfect for all your drawing needs. Oh. Okay. So they seem to be a wax base. And then it just goes into a little bit more detail. So this is the project that they have in the back, so they give you step-by-step -step instructions. Um, but I am going to do my own little image. Keep that there, keep that there. And we have it. Ooh, oh my gosh, this paper feels amazing. So thick. It's got a nice texture, not too much of a texture, but enough of a texture. So I want to draw this little kitty cat. So I want to draw it there. So how am I going to keep this book open? Tape. I'm going to have to tape. Thank you, Kim. <laughs> cool. So Kim is the first one on the list for this box giveaway. I have some new masking tape here that I just had to open. Now let's see how we're going to do this. There we go, that should do the trick. And right. So I'm gonna use this to transfer, well not transfer my image, but I'm gonna use it as a guide to put the outlines down. So I'll use a little ruler like I usually do. And then I'll keep this one on the left here to refer to all the time. And then you guys will get a little peek at how I create my freehand outlines using a little ruler. Is that still freehand if I'm using a ruler? That's one way to keep a book in place. <laughs> So I do have my little list here, so number one is Kim, number two is Luke. And here we're on the list. Right, let's transfer this image over and maybe I'll just use a, I'll use the, oh, 
that doesn't have colors written on them. Just numbers. Or is that what's listed at the back of the tin? No, just numbers, not actual colors. Okay. Well, a number is better than nothing. The Arteza supplies we used yesterday didn't have numbers or or <laughs> um, colors listed on them. Okay, so usually what I like to do is create lines across my artwork so that I can find certain points. So I want this angle of the eyes. Um, let me draw a border around here. So it's gonna it's gonna be very light. Oh, I better record. This is gonna be good for you guys to see how I use a small amount of colors to get this, because we only have 12 pencils to use now. So we'll see how far we get with the colors in this image. Okay, so I've got that line across the eyes there. I want to know the, the line at the top of the eyes and the angle. Um, this is a good line to have on the snout. Thank you, Sandy. Sandy's number three. You're on the list. Okay, so this line over here. Oopsie. And this one over here. Just these few lines are already going to show us a lot. And do we want anything else? I think we can sort of find the rest. And then because we're drawing such a small image, we can keep it close by to really have a good look. Let's zoom in. Okay, so now I want to draw those lines on here. Because we have these lines here, we can see exactly where the eyes are starting. So the eyes are going to be here. And I think I'm going to use a darker brown for that. Number 
Gareth. <laughs> Thank you. Far out. So Gareth is number four today. NMNDK says, love it when you draw cats. Clarice is asking, where do you get your reference photos from? Uh, this one, I bought it. It's a stock photo from iStock Photos. So iStock Photos, royalty free photos and you can purchase them in high quality. And then you can use them however you want. So I do have an account with them because I use multiple references a month for my students and for when I do my own designs I'll use a couple of their images. Here I can see a dark little patch, and over here, now the snout, Jackie, no, that's that's fine, just like that. Thank you so much. So, Jackie, you are number five. <laughs> Esme is lucky number seven. <laughs> Marjean, thank you. You're number six. Okay, so the bottom of the snout here. Okay, they, they, I don't think these, these can't be wax pencils. They feel too hard to be wax pencils. They feel nice. They feel like oil pencils. But I know that with wax-based and oil-based pencils, the reason they call something wax-based or something oil-based is because of the consistency of oil compared to wax. So both of them co contain both wax and oil. One just may be softer, which means that they call it wax-based. Um, or one might be harder um, and that means they call it oil based so it feels oil based but I don't know maybe when I start adding a little bit more pressure later on I will think differently okay so there's that little snout Oh, it's so cute. Um, but tiny little hairs going this way. Gareth wants to be on the list again. So Gareth is also number seven. Uh, Gareth says that one was a mistake. What are you doing, Gareth? I was seeing if I could do it in someone else's name. Oh, so do you want number seven to be Esme?
Ah, <laughs> uh, Esme. Okay, so Esme, you're number seven. Gareth is happy to give you number seven. Uh, Esme. So Gareth, do you want to be number eight as well? Because you did it twice. You did it three times. Okay, we'll make Gareth number eight as well. <laughs> So Gareth is number four and number eight. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure if how if super wet super chat works on Android it, or on iPhones or iPads I think do you have to turn it to profile view is that what someone said or is it just not possible to do it from from a phone keep this close by you can see exactly where this is supposed to be if your reference is the same size you can find that section quite easily oh Gary thank you so much that's very very nice of you I know Clarice cannot do it. She so we'll give Clarice one of them. Thanks, Gareth. So we'll make Clarice number eight. Uh, Donna's asking, do you always print your reference photos? What printer do you use? Um, I just have a um, cheap printer, a little. Uh, HP Envy and then I just use matte photo paper and I use the Genian inks I don't use I did try using the cheap inks but that totally stuffed up the colors and I couldn't get it calibrated right and then the minute I switched over to the Genian inks which are a bit more expensive but it's worth it because then it just gives you perfect color So this is going to be a good little um, test for mixing colors as we layer. So because I don't have like a dark brown that I can see in the reference, I'm going to have to try and change the colors up with what I have. Just to get, even just to get a close result, it doesn't have to be exactly the same. But this is really good. If you're trying out pencils for the first time, then this is the way to go. You buy a small set of pencils and you see what you can do with that small set of pencils before you invest in a large set of pencils. Okay, Zari, we'll take the other extra from, from Gareth then. <laughs> so Zari is number nine. 
because she's in Morocco and she wants to help but she cannot. Hmm. Well, I have also put another option in the description if you have a read. So if you um, cannot get it right on Super Chat, then you can just donate straight to the website. So the link is there, the option is there. And then I should get an email straight away if you've done that and then I can add your name on the list that way too. I guess helping those that really can't afford to but want to. So thank you so much, Gareth. Okay, so we're just trying to find sort of shadowy areas. Oh cool, that sounds good. The Epson Eco Tanks. A year's worth of ink. Wow. Okay, so that's there. We got our most important lines done. It's like our sketch. And now we can start the detailing. So I usually love doing the eyes first. So let's get into doing the eyes. So we have a black here, number 709. And we have a blue. It's a very, very bright blue. So we're going to have to use the white with that as well. And we want to use this blue. So at least there's four colors already that we want to use in the eyes. Um, let's start off with the 744, which is like an indigo blue by the looks of it. So we'll put that in the pupil first. And then usually when I use black, I like to use it over another color so that it doesn't look too flat. So it's good if you're using black, you want a cooler black. Use um, more blue with the black. If you want a warmer black, use more red with the black. So, no Sylvan today. <laughs> Thanks, Marie. So, Marie is number 10. Let's also use that. So now I need to check, did I create the outer circle or the inner circle? So I need to make that a little bit smaller coming in like this.
this would actually be a little bit higher. Okay, now we can use the black 709 to go over the pupils of the eye. Solvent. <laughs> okay, let's use the like a sky blue sort of color, seven forty one. Okay, and then we'll use the black because there's sort of like a grey tone in there. feel very much like oil pencils, they're very very hard. They, I, I'd say they're harder than the polychromos pencils, that's what they feel like. Esme is asking, have you ever used blending oils or odorless mineral solvents? I just burnished my color, so this is right up my alley. Oh. <laughs> Esme, that's all I use. <laughs> so burnishing is not something I use at all. Mainly because I don't like the pressure on my wrists. I have very weak wrists. 
so I prefer using mineral salt spirits. Odeless. I use Zested. Zested is my main go-to blending solvent. Okay, I'm going to add some white here. black give it a nice sharp edge I must remember to create sharp edges with my pencils too usually I use my um, the odorless solvent and my brush to create sharp edges not the actual pencil so because we're not doing that I need to remember to do that with a pencil <clears throat> Good night, Zari. I came to asking, are they the pencils scratchy? No, they're not scratchy. They just have a very hard core. Just a very, very hard core. That is all. See, and I, I don't like burnishing because it gives it like a a waxy sort of I don't know. A Sheen gives it a waxy sheen. Um, right, let's continue on layering using the like indigo bluish sort of color. I'm sure Smart Artbox would love to send mineral spirits out, but they can't because it's a liquid. Paper, it's Fabriano paper, uh, 200 GSM Fabriano drawing paper. It feels really nice. It's quite thick. I'd say this paper will be fine to also um, use a liquid on. It won't warp, that's for sure. Oh, 
Let me just find some different music here. Ismay hasn't seen the Fabriana in store, really? It's pretty... Pretty out there brand. some of this in the eye the iris okay and then Instead of using the colorless blender to burnish, um, I'm going to use the white to burnish the lighter parts of the eyes. So burnishing pretty much just means that you're using pressure to blend those colors in. So you've... you've you're pushing it down and you're forcing the tooth of the paper to become smooth to take away that textured look. Which I don't I don't like destroying the tooth of the paper because it really limits your amount of layers that you can put down. But there are there's lots of artists like Esme says that she uses burnishing all the times and her colored pencil portraits are amazing. So I guess it's all personal preference. Let's try the burnishing, pen, burnishing pencil and see if it feels any better. It feels nicer than burnishing with the white. The blender pencil, sorry. So it's just like a pencil with a clear core. looks okay. Hey Daniel, welcome back. Uh, Daniel says enjoying the 12 pencil challenge immensely. It's like drawing a cat with one hand tied behind your back. <laughs> it feels a bit like that. <laughs> and I don't get to use my mineral spirits. So this is very challenging for me <laughs> using a limited amount of pencil colors and no mineral spirits. So thank you, Daniel, you're number 11.
Okay, that's not too bad. Now, I want to see if I wanted to lighten some areas up. If I could still layer on top of that with some white. I could. So I want to add more to that, so I'm going to use the indigo blue. Okay, I'm even going to try put some of this color in there, 751. Seven. I don't think I can layer much more than that. I wonder if I'm pushing down into the... No, it's pretty thick. I've been putting a lot of pressure on, but it's not pushing into the paper behind it, so that's good. but I literally don't think I can layer any more on this side. Not with all that white I pushed into there. Camera check, thank you. Yes, coffee, lots of coffee. I don't think many of you drink coffee like I do. Just black. <laughs> no sugar. Now, one thing I'm going to do, because I just want the eyes to look sparkly and pretty, I'm going to put those highlights in the eyes, because I know that I can't highlight anymore. And I'm going to use the Uni Posco White Paint Marker. When we do the dark around the eyes, it should hopefully make the blues pop a bit more. <laughs> um, Tracy, the pencils are called Brunzeal, Brunzeal pencils. So they were in the January Smart Art Box. I've never heard of them before. And they feel a lot like a um, oil-based pencil. Um, right. Let's put some of these nice colors around the eyes. Thank you very much. So Tammy is number 12.
Okay, now with all these like white little hairs, I need to actually work around them because I'm not using my etching technique and I do not have solvent so I won't be able to put a white pencil over the top of darker colors. So I need to take my time and actually sketch in the fur, not use alternative methods like I usually use. <laughs> Thank you, Phyllis. So Phyllis is number 13. <laughs> Teresa says, I drink coffee for the safety of those around me. <laughs> says that she's heard Branziel has some good ones but not sure which ones they are. Okay, the eyes are starting to look a little bit Cuter. I'm quickly discovering how dependent I've gotten on using solvent for my layering and blending. <laughs> But we all have to try these techniques because how are we going to know whether it works for us if we don't try it? these pencils will go in my shelf now. Ooh, Joanna says that Brunzeals makes those pastel pencils that she's been raving about. And they must be a good brand because I don't think that Morgan Davidson would promote a brand that she isn't familiar with or happy with. Thank you, Kim. <laughs> uh, Marilyn says, eyes are my favorite. My husband calls me the eye artist here. <laughs> yep, eyes are my favorite too. They, they are what brings, a, brings life to something. So it's natural for it to be a lot of people's favorite because it makes something just, I don't know. It brings expression into it and feeling.
No, Joanna, I can't, you can't do that. Soft as pan pastels. Ah, uh, uh, Jana, if you're sending a link, you're gonna have to send it on the the Facebook page. Oh, well, at least let me cover postage, please. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. <laughs> So to create my dark browns, I'm going to have to mix this with my black. Because <laughs> this is a very warm reddish sort of brown. <laughs> ah, Joanna, thank you. Check, thank you, Esme. Green also got some. Ah, oh, thanks, Gareth. <laughs> Work on the snout, some of the black.
Hey, Nanette. <laughs> oh no, you missed the wrong... Nanette, everybody should be getting emails. Are you guys not getting emails before these start? And then I finally found like a little widget or like a link so that you guys can convert the times easily. So for those who want to know about any of the live streams that are coming up, um, just sign up to my newsletter on my website and then I send out notifications before all lives. Hey Tammy, no worries, you are on the list. Thank you, I did get it. You are number 12. Please make sure that if you are talking directly to me, please put in capital letters, because I'm not reading every single question. Is only happening tomorrow. <laughs> yes, I'm recording. Thank you. Oh, mental error, then it says. We all have them. So, yes, tomorrow, um, Valerie and I are going to be doing a live sort of collaboration. So, I got a, a pyrography kit. And um, I'm going to be burning on paper, watercolor paper, because I don't have a board and I don't have time to go out and get a board because I don't have a car right now. <laughs> so um, we're going to be burning on paper and we're doing that tomorrow and we are doing it live for everybody. Um, so Valerie, she should be on here a little later. She does pyrography and her channel is pretty cool so you can see what she does and so she's pretty much gonna um, talk me through it live for the first time so it's gonna be interesting giving that a go Yeah, Val was doing it out earlier today. Is she still doing it now? Hey, Angel. Welcome. <laughs> so for those that are new, um, I am doing, or those that are only tuning in now, this is the January Smart Art Box that I'm doing. So I, um, when you see the beginning of the video, I go through what's in the kit. And so I'm using all these supplies. So we got the sketchbook, we got the set of pencils, and we got a eraser pencil with a little brush, and we got a blender pencil in the kit for this month. Whoa! Thank you, Barbara's. <laughs> so Bob Palmer is number fourteen. And Barb for 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 Gia. You gotta tell me how to say your name, Barbara. <laughs> Is number fifteen. Barb number two. <laughs> Although you both number one in my eyes. Um, what was I saying? Oh, so the, the this is the January Smart Art Box. So every month, Smart Art Box sends me a box, and anything that I get for free, I give away for free. And if you look at the description, you can see how you can 
enter for this box and this artwork by the time I finish this stream. Then I'll randomly pick a name out of the list uh, and I give everyone a number. Yeah, yeah, Clarice, you're right. Esme should be titled camera moderator in the description. <laughs> Ah, oh, cool, yeah, I see Mar Maureen's post on the Sheldon Oddhold's Facebook page. She got the Brunzeal pencils, set of 60. She's like, how ironic that they are on today's live stream. <laughs> Perfect timing for you to use them. <laughs> uh, no, they didn't supply the reference photo. So that w the reference photo I got from iStock Photos. Esme, you keep saying it. Is it going to happen? <laughs> hey, Luella. Thank you. You're number 16. like these pencils for detailing these pencils are good because they are so hard um, they would work really great as an alternative to your other oil based pencils and I do like the colors the colors are good although if I had to use this my way I would be using it with mineral solvents <laughs> mineral spirits. Okay, you're going to be held accountable, Esme. Everyone on here is seeing that you're saying that you're going to do it by the end of the month. <laughs> Thank you. They are these pencils, Brunzeal. I wonder if I could say it, I think, is that Dutch or German? Clearpotloeden. Clearpotloeden. 
In Afrikaans, it would be clear potloader. Colored pencils. Clear potloader. In papier. In paper. <laughs> Gareth, you're so random. <laughs> what? No ways. I thought that the minimum wage here was $15. Aussie dollars an hour. No ways, it's 20 your home country. So did I say that right then? Pronunciation almost right. Almost right. I wonder which part I got. Clear, I think I got right because that's color. That's the same as in Afrikaans. Clear. Pot. Probably the last end because Afrikaans is clear potluid and that one I think is clear potluiden or potloden. I don't know. <laughs> 1859. Oh, that is pretty good. <laughs> oh, Angel, that's funny. The paper, it's, it does look like it has a very slight texture, but it's, it's pretty much, it's pretty much smooth. I'd say it's smooth. Um, maybe a way to show the texture would be if I do this. There you can see. Yeah. So it is pretty textured. So that's the texture of the paper. So what happens when you burnish, you use more pressure. And then that takes away the texture of the paper and then if you use a burnishing pencil pushes it flat into the paper but you have to press really hard to do that oh no I wish I didn't do that on that page I wish I didn't do that on that page. This is the page with the picture. It shouldn't be the page with the scratch marks.
Uh, Luella's asking, Sheldon, did you see my question? Did you put it in capital letters? You are on the list, Loella, for number 16. But I don't see another question from you. Esme says it's like the Strathmore Bristol Vellum. I don't know, I haven't tried that paper before. I tried getting my hands on my paper, but it's way too expensive to ship it here. So I was like, I wasn't even gonna try anymore <laughs> okay um right so use that sort of like reddish brown here very lightly very lightly Use an orange over the top of this here. Clarice, I hope everything works out for you. We all know how busy life can get as well, so I don't expect everyone to make every stream. Okay. Luella's asking at the end, after you finish the cat, could you do a sample using solvent with these pencils? Yes, I can. And I will. Okay. I really want to use this color. This color is just so beautiful. a peachy flesh color almost. It's very, very light. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's so nice to hear, Esme. Thank you, Marie. I really love our group. I'm very lucky to have you guys. You guys are also kind and friendly and give each other such so much support and advice. It's wonderful.
cool. Welcome, Diana, to the student portal. I'll send you your login afterwards. Thanks, Kim. Thanks, Clarice. I got your email. We'll talk about it after. Gary says it only takes 10,000 hours to master anything. I haven't even reached that many hours. Oh no, I don't know, maybe I have. How long would it take you to reach 10,000 hours if you drew an hour a day? Ten thousand days. <laughs> How many years is that? <laughs> yeah, I like this song. This is a good one. Sounds dreamy.
<laughs> Just call a duty count. <laughs> Thousand hour, ten thousand hours is only one point four years. Only. <laughs> so that. So what? That would take us ten years. Ten years if we spent an hour a day drawing take us 10 years to reach 10,000 hours. Yes, burnishing hap um, damages the tooth, that's why I don't like using it. But the tools in this kit are made for burnishing, so that's why we are doing that. Even though you're burnishing, burnishing should sort of be your like final layer. So you still have to layer lightly until you get to the point where you're ready to burnish. then you can afford to ruin the tooth of the paper because you don't plan on going over it again with further layers. Yep, exactly right, Kim. Anyone can draw. Anyone can do anything. It's like a trade. You, you still have to learn. You have to practice. You have to put it in action. It's not something that you can just have. The interest has to be there, though. You need to have the desire to to learn otherwise you won't do it it's not everyone has a desire to be creative they might have the desire to do extreme sports so if the desire is there then you will put the time into it
<laughs> like learning a new language. Yep. Yeah, if it's very shiny, then it's the wax bloom. So usually the solvent would take away that bloom unless you've just overlaid too much with the wax pencil. So if you press too hard and you can't layer anymore, then it can create that wax bloom. Even if you add solvent. But solvent should sort of make it more matte. I can see you. Don't even think about it. She's so sneaky. It's just my dog trying to dig again. Uh, camera check, thank you. Oh, wicked. <laughs> yeah, you coming to say sorry? Hmm? Be naughty. <laughs> oh my gosh, how can you not forgive them? <laughs> Final fixative can also help with the bloom. Okay, so I feel like I need to add maybe a bit of red in here. Red and orange even. It's a good exercise using a set of 12 pencils because you you think more about mixing colors and using your primary colors to get the colors that you want. I'm so used to it because the advantage about using the big set of colored pencils is you don't have to mix your colors. You There's so such a wide color range that you can just grab the color that you need. Because if you're limited to 12 pencils, you gotta think about how you layer and mix your colors again. So it is a good exercise. Um, I actually have like a good exercise would be if you have a set of tw 12 pencils or 26 pencils. I have a tutorial on YouTube for free um, on how to draw a color wheel. 
So it would be good if you're starting out to draw a color wheel with just the pencils that you have. And then you can see how they mix together and layer and just how many colors that you can actually get out of them. Okay, how long have we been streaming for? Ah, oh, cool. All right, it feels like longer. We've only been, oh no, we started at nine o'clock, not 10. <laughs> I almost thought we started at 10. Okay, so I think what I'll do is in 10 minutes, um, I haven't got my clock here, but in 10 minutes when this is 11, then um, I will pick the winner. So we'll do it, do it then. And I think you guys have most certainly covered the postage for this. So um, the last Smart Art Box cost me $35 to send. So you guys have helped me with this one. And then we will pick who this goes to. So if you want to enter, you've got 10 minutes, just follow the description. If you can't use Super Chat, you can just do a direct uh, donation on my website and I would get a notification immediately. Um, yeah, so 10 more minutes, we'll do that and we'll pick the winner. So the winner will get all of this, everything that was in the box, including this. I'm sorry I put that on the page. Maybe I, I can put a nice little sticker over it. <laughs> Diana, if you're on the live stream, I'll send you your login details as soon as I've, I've finished here. <laughs> so for those that do um, become students on the student portal, um, a lot of you tend to become students because I'm a whole 16, 14 to 16 hours ahead of you guys. So usually... Um, It'll be a normal hour of the day for you and I'll be asleep. So then I can't immediately send you your student login. As, so some of you may have to wait a few hours until I'm awake so I can send you your login. <laughs> um, but yeah, Diane, I'll send you the login as soon as I'm finished with the stream. Because <laughs> I, of course, have to do that manually. <laughs> so Diane was a patron and she switched over as a direct subscription and now she just sent me an email saying I need the login, I'm going through withdrawals how the cat is starting to look. I think it's starting to look quite good. Considering our limit to how many pencils we can use. Nanette is number 17.
Billy, welcome back. So Billy is number 18. Um, for those that are students, after this I will be doing part 3 of the jellyfish tutorial. And I'm only going to do that for about an hour and see how far we get with continuing with the translucent details of the tentacles. And then for those that are part of the fantasy art subscription, I'll be working on that piece afterwards. So some of you will be fast asleep, but some of you will be able to make it. So yeah, three live classes today. Crops, thank you. You are at number nineteen. Camera check, thank you. because I'm not using a white wax based pencil I sort of have to give the illusion of whiskers over here on the sides by putting shadows in between there So five more minutes and I'll pick the next, I'll pick the winner of this box.
Jenny. Jenny is number 20. Thank you very much. Thank you, Connie. Connie is number 21. Angel, thank you. Angel is number 22. asking have you ever done a cockatoo or corella seeing the way you work white uh no i have not i did a little amazon what are they called a little amazon something um during the november live streams Now, I'm going to see if I'm going to burnish this. If it's going to make the pigment appear stronger or not. So, let's just test a section real quick and then we'll pick the... Okay, so this is my burnishing pencil. And I just want to see if this is going to make it any darker. So let's finish this. I need to see if I need to go any darker. Ooh, okay, there the orange is showing up. Which is what I want. Okay. I may have to layer a little bit more. Oops. Press a little too hard. Mm, that's pretty good. Okay. So we will end up burnishing all of that to make it darker. Will this get darker? We'll probably make that even darker. Okay.
Oh yeah, Dale, that symbol is the super chat symbol. So that's what helps me um, send you guys the giveaways. Okay, I see some of you are subscribing to the newsletter on my website, so that's good. You should um, get an email before tomorrow's live stream so you know what the details are for that one. What are the chances number 20 gets randomized two days in a row? You just never know. You never know. Okay, let me pause this recording. Beautiful, just check my mail, make sure nobody else has added anything there. Okay, we're good to go. So we have 22 names for today's art box giveaway and we're just going to randomize that with the app okay so we've got the maximum number of 22 done minimum one save and pick a number number 11 daniel johnson <laughs> no ways daniel won a giveaway yesterday as well <laughs> congratulations daniel you won another one is Daniel still on here? Yeah, congratulations, Daniel. I think maybe he would have gone to sleep. Okay, so since Daniel won another one, let's do another giveaway um, of an artwork. Let me go grab something. Let me see if we can do another giveaway. Okay, let's do this as another giveaway. So this, I will, the drawing of an eye and the eye. And then if, so students have the video to this tutorial. If you win this and you are not a student, I'll send you a link to the video tutorial. So we'll do this as another giveaway. Um, just because Daniel's already won something, so I wanna give someone else something as well. Okay, so let's pick another winner. So that's for this. The original and the print. Number 22. Angel. Congratulations, Angel. So, Angel, you won this drawing and this print. I don't know. That's probably not something you want to put up. It's a bit creepy. But if you're learning how, learning how to draw, then that'll be a good little image to have. And then you'll get the tutorial video along with it. So, congratulations, Angel. If you could, Angel, if you could just send me your postal address. So, if you go on my website... Um, go to the contact details, send me the address you'd like me to post it to, and um, then I will give you all those details. Okay. <laughs> um, Radio. So Daniel won that one. And Angel won the eye. Just make a note. Beautiful. 
beautiful. Well done, guys. So no need to use the super chat function or that anymore. That's all done um, for this one. Thank you. So you guys have covered the postage, definitely. I appreciate that very much. Right, so let's carry on with this. Oh yeah, camera check. Yeah, my watch has been out of the picture this whole time. It's okay. This one just won't have a watch in it. It'll have a little bit of a watch in the end there. Um, actually, what I want to do... Uh, I'll do that last. No, I'll do that last. Okay. I know what I wanted to do. Um. Yeah, Super Chat only works while we live, which is good because that's all we want. because we have white whiskers here but I don't have a way of applying the whiskers later so we want to create the illusion of the whiskers being there so we just have to get our sort of values right in between the whiskers then we should be able to create that illusion I'm a bit dark here Let's use this color. So if you just get your values right, you can make it seem like there's whiskers here. You see that? They, they're starting to look like little hairs there. So it can be tricky when you're working with such light fur. You don't want to go too dark. So we don't have like a nice soft warm gray which I'd like to use. So this color will have to do.
very subtle indication of whiskers. That's about as good as we're gonna get them. darker value here just to give the shape a little more the face a little more depth because it looks very flat here and then here is the same thing some warm colors in here It is slowly starting to look realistic. This side of the face is very light, so I'm going to be careful not to go too dark here. That's good. I'm glad if the fur, the fur is looking soft. See, if I was doing this my traditional way of doing it, I would have created a soft underpainting without even thinking of the details of the fur. So I would have done that first and I would have applied the details later. But that's only when you're using solvent. But I mean, you can still get a realistic result and a nice drawing without using solvent. It's not something you have to use. It's all, like I said, things you have to try for yourself and see what works best for you. I mean, if you look at Morgan Davidson's channel and look at her work, she doesn't use solvent and she gets seriously realistic results. Thank you, Robert.
camera check thing here. Oh, it's starting to feel warm. So, do, some of you are donating, but it's a bit late. We've already picked the person. So, no need to use the super chat or the donate function for this one anymore. Um, so, who was this one? Great, thanks Angel, I got your postage address. Um, I'll flag this donation to add into the next one that we do, but don't do any more. Don't do any more. Oh, not there. So something I'd like to point out, so you see how much white I'm leaving here because this is very, very, very light and in the reference it is very light, almost white. So you want to leave it that light. I know that um, a lot of people struggle with doing white fur or something so light because it's easy to go too dark. So pay attention to what you're looking at and make sure that you don't go so dark. If you can't see something in an area, don't put it there. So this is where your brain can fool you, is you think something belongs in a section, so you put something there, and then it looks weird. So if, if you're getting confused with where to place things, and you're not sure if you see it or not, turn your image upside down. <laughs> That's probably the best way for you to not get fooled by yourself in where to place things that makes sense. Okay, I think we are ready for the burnishing part of all of this. <laughs> Margin. Oh my gosh, Esme, how could you even say that? <laughs> it's been a few weeks. I think my plants are probably all oh, far out. I haven't even looked at that for a very long time. <laughs> I am terrible. Where Where is it? Oh my gosh, let's see what's happening. It's been a few weeks. Oh, that's, that's, that's a little tulip. It is so dead. It is, it is very dead. Bring it back? Can I bring it back? Oh, my other plants are okay. Okay, they're all still okay and alive. <laughs> so this is an app called Plant Nanny. And when you drink water, you log your water like that and you feed your plants. Oh, it grew. There you go. And it grows. 
Okay, we say, thank you, Esme. A plant has been saved today. <laughs> oh, okay, let me sharpen this. Yeah, thanks, Wicked. I know that not everybody can use Super Chat, so that's why I've got the donation option straight through my website if they want to do that. Okay. So now I'm just burnishing. So I'm pushing the color into the paper, and it should bring the pigment of the paper, of the pencil color out, and it should also take away the very textured paper sort of look so this is what you do towards the end when you don't plan on adding more layers so like this I don't like this because sometimes I think that I'm done and then I will you know apply solvent or something and then I'm I, I want to add more so you risk when you burnish like this you risk the ability of adding more because you've you know, taken away the tooth of the paper and you can't layer much after you've burnished. So it's, it's like just one of those things that I prefer not to do if I can help it. Yes, polishing the paper. That's a very good way to describe it. Careful, we can spread it a little bit further than what you may want it to. Mm, I've noticed something. So now I want to add more on top of this so that part of burnished and it's just not going to apply as well. Diane, <laughs> we've done the giveaway. <laughs> uh, thank you, Diane. <laughs> okay. I'm going to have to put you guys on the list for whatever the next one is. So, Yellow US and Diane.
to my check. Ah, uh, yep. So I think next time I will wait till the very end before I pick somebody. But yeah, Diane and Yellow US. Um, I've added you guys to the next giveaway list. So whenever we do the next one. email today about the sub tier Zeruxi Thanks, um, Luella. That's a good idea. Oh, good. Okay. So you had that all along, David, but you didn't even know. Didn't even know. Luella, yep, I'll put the image up for you. If you want to give it a go. I haven't tried in this box is this eraser oh my gosh could have just erased the bloody whiskers look at that so if you were gonna erase like this do this before you burnish cool
So there we have those whiskers. So here, this is already burnished, so we're not going to be able to get that right there. <laughs> yep. Totally forgot about that. Yep, and the brush at the end. I just blew it off. <laughs> um, let's see if I can... I probably can't because I burnished it. I want to lighten that up. No. So, I am quite impressed considering the limit of colored pencils that we had. I do quite like this. So, it's not exactly the same colors. Mine's a little bit more pink, although on the screen it looks yellow. But mine's a little bit more pink, pinker than this one. Um, but I do like how it's turning out. So... You can still get a realistic result with a very limited amount of supplies. So that is something that this box taught us. So you can get this box for yourself from Smart Art Box if you want. Um, uh, you might have to wait a little bit longer though because this is a January box. They may not have it on... Oh, yeah, no, you can get it. You can get it on Smart Art Box now. So that's this month's subscription. If you want these supplies. Yep, that's right. Wicked makes a valid point. She says burnishing and aggressive erasing can cause paper damage on some papers. Happened two to three times so far. So saving from... No saving from that one. Yep. So this paper is pretty freaking thick. Um, so this seems to work okay on this paper. I can see my line through there. Can you see that? I'm going to press a bit too hard on that. Um, so yes, if you're working on a thinner paper, burnishing is probably not the best way to go. And solvents can be pretty cheap, so you can use uh, any odorless solvent or your Gamsol is a good one. Zestive pencil blend, so any of those will do if you want to blend. Do not use baby oil. Please do not use baby oil. <laughs> it's oil, for goodness sake. <laughs> it's going to leave an oil stain. <laughs> it, like an odorless solvent, it will look like it will look wet but once it's just dry it doesn't look like anything so it dries clear if you're going to use baby oil it's going to leave an oil stain on there and it's just it's no good it's not made for it it's not going to work don't use baby oil <laughs> You, you can get Gamsol for just as cheap as what you can get baby oil so just rather just use the right thing
Oopsie. Yes, and baby oil is definitely not archival. <laughs> Esme, you've been a superstar today. Thank you. If one day I draw a camera, I'll send you that picture. them once off so if there's one particular art box you like you can just get the one you don't have to subscribe I don't think No worries, Gareth. Thank you so much for everything that you did today. It was very kind of you to um, allow some others to join in today's art box giveaway. And I'm all good for tomorrow. Thank you. We got both Maureen and Val. And Val's husband would be moderating as well. So good night, thank you so much. Let the music go. Okay, next, next. Sick of listening to this. Okay, so you see, I'm keeping that side of the face very, very light. I would have liked to have used like a very subtle warm gray to add a bit more to it but I don't have it and I cannot get any lighter than this gray with the black and I don't want to risk overdoing it so I wonder if there's anything else I can add so touch up time okay, I'm just going to make that pupil darker
that's cool, E. And yeah, I'm just I'm not a digital art fan. I have my Wacom tablet, and I don't mind designing my references like that. But I just I I can't see myself doing actual digital art. There's some epic digital artists out there. They're amazing, especially with the fantasy art. But I just I love putting pencil to paper. <laughs> see where I need to I need to go even darker over here so this side of the face is just dark tones here. Okay, let my battery died, but we're just about done now anyways. So you I'm gonna blend that with solvent so that you can see. Actually no, I burnished that so I have to blend a little spot somewhere else so tomorrow's is starting at 10 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time um, but Kim, if you subscribe to the newsletter on my website, you'll get a notification and a little time converter with it. Yep, I just re put a new battery in. And I'm just going to grab something. to cover that but I don't have anything to cover it with okay so to show you what it's like if I blend it with solvent let me do it on the same page So I'm using my zested pencil blend. So that blends very nicely. See now if I had to layer like that, I would get way more layers in. And I could probably get it even more detailed. Ah, we 
wicked you're so right wicked says i love it when they say the more you practice whatever the less time it takes <laughs> what a joke so not true for many things yeah with colored pencils the more practice uh it doesn't mean it's gonna be less time because i think if anything it might take more time because then you're getting really um fussy about the level of detail you're willing to go through the more detail the more time it's going to take okay so luella wanted to see how it would look like if you what it would look like if you blended it with a solvent so that is what it would look like now seriously want to cover that up maybe I'll print a little mini cat and stick it on there but let's take this off um, oh right, let's sign that so the way I would sign this one so I'll probably use the like reddish brown and I wonder if I sign it on the left or the right and sign it here There we go. So I'm peeling this off real slow because I do not want to damage the paper. Masking tape stuck in my hair. Hey Valerie! I just let everybody know that tomorrow you and I are doing a live stream together. We're gonna be burning stuff. Uh, okay, let's zoom out. So this these are the supplies that we used today. We used the Pencils. Let's put them back. So Daniel is going to get all of these. So we use the Bronzeal pencils, we use the Blender pencils, and we use the Eraser pencil in the sketchbook that they gave us. And this was all for the January Smart Art Box. And then I just use these little cat references to draw that cat using these supplies. Now, maybe we'll do this. So that is the supplies for the January Smart Art Box. Congratulations, Daniel, on winning it. And congratulations to Angel for winning the eye drawing and tutorial. Yes, Daniel, Daniel just got back. You won the Smart Art Box. So you won again. <laughs> congratulations. <laughs> Cool, so if you guys have any questions, now's the time before I head off and then I'm getting ready to um, start with part three of the jellyfish tutorial for those that are students on my website. Good night, Kim. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, before I go. Are you sure, Daniel? 
So Daniel said that he won last night. Um, he's happy for me to draw again so that somebody else could win. Well, then um, I'm going to give it to Angel because she was the next name that we drew. And then I will pick somebody else for the eye. Is Angel still on here? Thank you, Daniel. That's very kind of you. Eric, what are you doing? Uh, Ian's asking, did my arm hurt after co coloring a long time? <laughs> uh, no, it's more my wrist. Okie dokie, so we are drawing a name again. So here is the list that we got today. Let me turn that off. So let's pick a game. So Angel, you won the box. Um, and let's pick somebody else for the eye. So what I did is I let someone else win this. So my eye drawing and the print of the eye. And then I'll also send you the link to the video tutorial of this eye. And so let's pick a winner for that one. And then this time we can add the last two that um, ended up being late. Um, so yellow US and Diane will add you to the list, which makes it a total of 24. So setting maximum 24, done. And let's go save. And then let's pick number 18. So number 18 was Billy McDonald. Well done, Billy. You won this eye drawing and the tutorial. And well done to Angel for winning the Smart Art Box. And thank you so much, Daniel, for letting us redraw that. That was very kind of you. <laughs> okay, guys, that was the January Smart Art Box. I had a lot of fun. Um, I am pretty impressed with these pencils. I do, I think, I, I don't know. I do like these pencils, but I don't think I would choose them over the Polychromos pencils, personally. I think I, I've, I like the feel of the Polychromos pencils or the Pablo pencils more um, compared to these. But um, other than that, they, they still feel like a high quality pencil. They do feel extremely light, like a lot lighter than the Polychromos or the um, Pablo pencils. So they, they just feel super lightweight. They don't have the color, the name of the color on the pencil, which is something I don't like. I usually like the name of the color pencil and the number of the pencil on there. Um, but apart from that, the pencil feels pretty good. And I think as a start out kit, if you want to start with colored pencils and have a play, then this kit is probably a good kit. I'm, I'm not sure what the price is like for these pencils, but if it's a good price, then I would um, suggest you may as well go ahead and try them out to have a play. But I mean, we managed to get, this is a set of 12 pencils and we managed to draw this with these pencils. So it can be done, it can be done. You can still get a really nice realistic result out of it. So this box was really good. I did like the blender pencil. It felt good. It didn't feel like it was leaving any blotches or anything. And the eraser pencil feels really nice too. Um, I just, I generally don't use these two supplies because I would use my solvent instead um, to get those sort of results that you get from using these supplies. And, um, but yeah. The sketchbook, I, I really like the sketchbook. The paper feels really great. It's a, um, it's a very decent, you know, feel. It's a very thick paper. And it's a really, it's a nice book. It's in a, how many pages are in here, does it say? 48 sheets. So I'll put this back on here. So this is the paper. And it's Fabriano. I love Fabriano. They are high grade brand. They are good quality papers. So um, I am very impressed with the Smart Art box. And I, if you guys like it, you guys can get the box for yourselves. But um, yeah, I'm so happy with the little kitty cats. 
So Angel, now you have a sketchbook and um, you get the little kitty cat inside and I will send that box out early next week. I'll send everything out. Are these pencils light fast? You know, it doesn't say anything about that. So it's probably something I'm gonna have to look up. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Definitely have to have a look at that to see. Um, let me make sure that I mark Billy's name. So yep, yeah, Billy won the eye. Cool. So Billy, if you're on here, um, I don't know how to get in contact with Billy. I guess I will have to go back up the chat and see if I can message him on YouTube because I don't think he's on here now. Just to let him know that he needs to send me his postal address. Okay, anyways, I'll deal with that. Thank you guys for tuning in. Um, far out, it's, it's getting really hot in here. I don't know what the temperature is, but it's very, very humid here in Australia. But regardless, thank you guys for tuning in. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Um, we're going to be with Val. We're going to be burning live. And uh, we're going to be using the Optima Pyrographic System. This. I haven't even opened it yet. So this is the, the tools that we're using in tomorrow's um, burning tutorial. I've never tried it before. It's going to be my first time use. So this is going to be good for anybody that's interested. Like you will literally get a at most beginners questions. And um, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Radio. I've probably said goodbye 20 times now. This is official. Goodbye, everybody. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you tomorrow.